have been collecting and recreating the palette used in the making of manuscripts and continue to add to this valuable resource. Following historical recipes, we've been transforming ingredients such as minerals, plants and insects into paint in order to better understand the visual and material qualities of a manuscript. These jars contain the ultramarine pigment we prepared from the mineral lapis lazuli, a semi-precious stone mined in the Hindu Kush mountains of Badakhshan in Afghanistan. After a long process of grinding and washing away the stone impurities such as the white calcite or these golden specks of pyrite, we've obtained various grades of ultramarine, from deep blue to pale blue. The illuminations and illustrations of this manuscript made in Shiraz at the beginning of the 16th century present a very high quality ultramarine and its skillful application. The illuminated headings, like this one, are exceptionally well preserved and show some of the finest details of the manuscript. Our experiments in recreating the artist's palette together with close observation of the manuscript and scientific analysis help us to inform our methods to preserve the delicate paint layer. Areas of paint which are no longer firmly adhered are stabilized. There is a range of adhesive which we can use for this treatment and have good aging characteristics and do not interfere with the look of the paint layer in terms of altering its color or sheen. The adhesive is applied under the flaking paint and any surrounding areas presenting loss are never retouched. During this close observation, the hand of the artist becomes evident, together with composition marks, underdrawings and any later addition and changes to the page.